SketchUp allows you to be so creative with your ideas that many users do not realize how easy it is to be accurate as well. Here is an overview of ways to work with accuracy in SketchUp. Most tools will respond to keyboard input. For example, start drawing a line in the direction you need. And before clicking to finish the line, type in a numeric value on your keyboard and press the Enter key. The default value is likely in inches or centimeters, but you can specify the unit of measurement. Continue drawing lines and typing different values. I'll type 2m, for this line meaning 2 meters. Then continue in this direction and type 6 apostrophe for 6 feet. I can also use 25 cm for 25 centimeters. Other drawing tools also respond to keyboard input. For rectangles, specify the length and width separated by a comma, such as this example. Draw a rectangle of any size, then type 3m, comma, 5m to create a rectangle that is 3 by 5 meters. When entering dimensions, you can also use fractions or decimal points. For example, type either of these dimensions into SketchUp to create a line that is 12 foot 5 and 3 quarters inches long. Remember to use a space between the whole and fractional measurements. For the circle, polygon, and arc tools, you can specify an exact radius for that shape. You can be accurate while using many of the modification tools as well. Pull a shape and type in the exact distance you need. When specifying a distance for the push-pull tool, remember that the distance is always measured from the initial location of the surface and relative to the direction of the push-pull operation. For example, by pulling on this surface and typing 5 feet, the surface is moved exactly 5 feet in that direction. But if we push the surface in the opposite direction and type 5 feet again, it moves back to the original location. Here is a tip for being accurate and fast with a push-pull tool. Every time you use push-pull, SketchUp will remember the distance you used. Look at these three rectangles. Pull the first rectangle out a distance of 12 inches. Then simply double click on the next rectangle and the third rectangle to have the push pull tool use the same distance. Push the top surface down a few inches and then double click on the other surfaces to get the same distance. This functionality works on any surface you double click on. The offset tool also lets you specify a distance. Simply begin your offset outward or inward and type the distance you need. Double-click on additional surfaces for the same offset distance. By now you should have a good idea of many ways to be accurate in SketchUp. You can also specify exact distances when moving objects and exact angles for rotating objects, all with keyboard input. Another way to be accurate is to create guides for you to reference. These guides are created with the Tape Measure tool. Simply click on an edge and pull away to create a reference guide. Remember that you can type in a distance for this guide. For example, I might pull off several guides at 2 inches, so I know where to move the legs of this table. To create a specific point of reference, click on an endpoint and pull away. You can also create guides with the Protractor tool for accuracy with angles. The tool snaps to every 15 degrees, or you can type in a desired angle. When you have created models that need to communicate measurements, use the Dimension tool. You can pull dimensions off edges or between any two points, and even off arcs and circles to show the radius.